who do you think is the number one deployer of this kind of collaborative robot in the world by country? China. China has um, launched a major initiative. It's called Made in China 2025. It's part of a bigger program that's the goal is to make China the number one manufacturer globally, not just for cheaper parts or inexpensive parts, but for all parts. So including a lot of high quality parts by the 100th anniversary of modern China, 2049. And what they've recognized is that over the last 30 years, what they've been really successful at has been a low cost labor region. And so we've all pushed a lot of our manufacturing over there if we have a high labor content um, in order to be able to compete on the global stage because the alternative was uh, to try to hire a bunch of people in the US um, you know, cheaply. And you know, I don't know about you, but I'd rather have um, my labor cost be high, not low. I mean, we didn't want to compete. Um, but what's fascinating about this period in time right now is they recognize, uh, and many companies recognize, that we're switching from what's going to drive competitiveness over the next 30 years is not going to be low-cost labor. It's going to be utilization of technology that allows your factories to learn in a very adaptable, flexible kind of way, and then gain uh, value in the supply chain as a result of that learning. So you would think countries like the United States, where we're really good at innovation, we're really good at technology, we'd be the ones out in front. China is subsidizing the deployment of every single robot in China. If you want to deploy a robot in China, they'll give you some money to do it. If you want to create a company to go build robots, they're going to give you money to do that too. So there's just this massive push going on in China right now. They're going to try and fail and try and fail and try and fail and try and fail and try and knock it out of the park and by then it's too late.